Okay, today we're working on 6-7, and it's mostly a combination of all the methods we've used so far. So, I'd like you to start with this and try and factor on your own. Pause the recording. Now check your work. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, we always have to get our GCF of a 5. Now, we break that down to um, t to the second. Do our x marks the spot, and we can do our what multiplies to negative 12 and adds to negative 1. We come up with negative 4 and 3. So when we break that down, it becomes 5 times t, the root of t to the fourth is t squared, and then we've got <coughs> plus 3 and minus 4. Now, if we are left with a trinomial, two terms, it has to be difference of squares factoring. Three terms, it's trinomial factoring. And for four terms, it's group factor by grouping. Since we have a trinomial, we're gonna do, we did our x marks a spot. And now, are we done? No, because we are left with a difference of squares there in the t squared minus four. So we have to make sure it's completely factored. Okay? So now let's try the next two. Pause the recording and work on these two problems. Okay, Schwab, what do I do first? First you have to factor out uh, three. Good. A GCF of three. Please tell me what you're doing. Don't just say factor of three. Factor out the GCF. Get used to using the math vocabulary. Okay, next. And then you group, um, you group them together. So 2a squared uh, x plus a squared is one group, and the other group is negative 8x minus 4. Mm -hmm. And then you um, find the GCF. Group which code, is? Which it, for the first one is um, a squared. Oh, yeah, sorry. a squared. <coughs> okay a squared times 2x plus 1, and then for the second one, it's um, negative, uh, it's negative 4 times 2x plus 1. Negative 4, and what's left? Times quantity of 2x plus 1, and then you see that there's, uh, so there's a common factor of 2x plus 1, so you, um, and then you multiply by a squared minus 4. <coughs> and then a squared minus 4 is um, a, a difference of squares. So you break that down into a plus 2 and a minus 2. a plus 2, a minus 2, oops, minus 2, sorry, and we are done. Yes? I, uh, I got the same answer, I just didn't do the grouping until I had 2x plus 1 on its own. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, so I did so he switched it around. 3a squared minus 12 and what? 2x plus 1. So I got that one the same anyway. And then I, and then I factored out the 3 from the 3a squared minus 12. So I got that. Okay, so you didn't GCF first yeah. is what you're saying. Okay, so when you did that, that's fine. <coughs> you don't have to. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, so... From here, if I hadn't, if I'm here and I don't take the GCF and I just go right away, and what do we pull out? We can pull a 3a squared and I'll be left with 2x plus 1. And out of the next one, I'm pulling out a negative 12. And then we'll be left with 2x plus 1. And then we are left with a 3a squared minus 12 times 2x plus 1. And the thing, the GCF he's GCFing here. I'm pulling out my 3 here, and I'm left with a squared minus 4 times 2x plus 1, and that's 3 times a plus 2 times a minus 2 times 2x plus 1. Just make sure to factor completely. If you miss the GCF, absolutely catch it by the end. You, you have to, your goal is to factor completely. Factor completely. That's the goal every time. So now let's check our next one. Our GCF is a 5. 
and we'll be left with x to the fourth minus 16. This is a higher degree polynomial, so this means there's going to be multiple levels to it. When it's not x squared, it's going to be multiple levels of factoring. So x to the fourth breaks down to x squared plus 4, x squared minus 4. And then I can break down that x squared minus 4 one more time to x plus 2, x minus 2, x squared plus 4, and then that 5. 5 times. Remember, x squared plus 4 is not factorable. Are you guys clear? Okay, next. Questions? Okay. All right, go. Next two. Pause the recording and do the next two. <coughs> Let's check our work. On number three, Connor. Yeah. What do I do first? Uh, two. two. And what's left? X squared plus 3x plus 7. Plus what? 7. Good. And so now I'm going to do my x marks the spot. What multiplies to 7 and adds to 3? Okay, there's nothing. So what do I do now? Done. We're done. Do we say not factorable? No. We just leave it like that. We don't say not factorable because we factored a GCF. So a GCF is one form of factoring. Okay, we stop there. Okay, next one. Let's go with, how about Caleb? Oh, well, negative you, multiplies well, to negative 20. So we're going to do 3 and... Well, I'm going to just put my GCF on hold for a minute. And I'm going to do this yeah. times 6. And so we're really going to do n squared. Okay. Now, when you get a number like 120, we know that it has to be divisible by a 5 or a a 5 or a um or a 10 right so that easily i might um go to one of those things that are divisible by 5s and 10s okay and we got n plus 15 Divide and wait. Di six, <coughs> both of them, and uh, one of them is. And plus uh, three goes into that five times over two, and this is n plus two goes into that four over three, right? Yeah. So n plus. And, four and, two and, four. and then we get sorry. Final answer now. Three, three n times, times the quantity. Three n times the quantity. Of Three and plus minus four. Oh. When you divide it, you change it. I don't know. Minus four. Three and minus four. Okay, there you go. And you can double check yourself. This times this is making my six n squared. Uh, these two multiply to this. Now, when I do plus 15n minus 8n, minus eight N, I get... 7n. Yeah. So I'm really kind of checking that what I have, uh, those two multiply to this. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next. Ready? What? Um, uh, what did they do with those weird X things? Oh, all they're doing is they're listing all the factors, and they're looking at possible combinations. I don't like the way he did it. I redid the PowerPoint, and I showed you my own way. Yeah. So don't worry about those. They're just listing all the factors. This is weird. <coughs> I know. Don't worry about it. 
All right, go. Next one. Pause the recording. Try the next one. Okay, so 4xy. Okay. Is there anything we should do before that? Michelle. Oh, you um, factor the x. Yep. You can put factor an x out, and then that makes it a little bit cleaner right away. And then you moved it around, which is okay. You d moved x, y with what? 4y. <coughs> and then he, she's doing negative 28 minus 7x. So she moved things around, okay? Um, and then we can factor out a y, and we're left with x plus 4. And what else can we factor out, Michelle? Negative 7, and I'm left with 4 plus x. Isn't that the same thing as x plus 4? Okay, and so I am, have y minus 7 times the quantity of x plus 4, and I have my GCF of x. Okay, questions? Okay, if you look at my PowerPoint, they just swapped these two terms, right? Could have done this too. The difference is, is what you get inside of the parentheses is the y minus 7. So it's the same thing. Okay, go. Next, next problem. What do I do first? Okay, it's okay. You can start me. Do it up here. Don't look at your paper. Get present with what we're doing here. Don't, don't look at your paper. What do I do first? There was no greatest common factor, so I grouped. He grouped right away. Okay. Huh? I put negative 4 uh, t squared plus 4 together, and t squared t squared minus t squared. Hmm. Oh. Okay. You know what? I want to factor it like this. Okay. So I'm going to just keep going because I want to show you something. Every i up here. Got it? So on the first one, what do I factor out of the group? A t squared, right? And what's left? p squared minus 4. Now, what do I factor out of this one? Yes. A negative 1 flips the terms around. Remember that? That makes it negative 4 positive p squared. But can't we write it like this? Positive p squared minus 4. Right? Makes them flip around. And then we have things that are matching. T squared minus 1 times P squared minus 4. And are we done? We break down to T plus 1, T minus 1, P plus 4, P minus 4. Da! What did I do wrong? 2. 2. Two, P plus 2, and that is our final answer. Are there any questions? So be okay with being able to factor out that negative. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Next two. These are the last two problems. Um, why don't we do these together since we're limited on time? Um, who can walk me through them? How about Patrick? Step one. Right. And listen at the same time. Go on. So for number seven, you factor out our GCF of 5. Good. Which makes 5 times the quantity of x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then you do, you, you do x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3. Now, if you remember, this is a perfect square trinomial. So you should be able to do the root of of x squared is x, the root of 9 is 3, and a 3, a negative, and a negative. So we should be able to do that. Otherwise, you can still do x marks the spot. Okay? But it is perfect square trinomial. And then we can just write it with an abbreviation. Okay, next one. Let's go with um, Boeing. What do I do? Okay, we're just going to group them right away. Oh, this is this is tricky. 
This is tricky. How did they do this? Let's look at how they did this. This is an this is an interesting one. You could group the first two curves and you could factor out an A. Yep. Group the first two. I can get an A and I'm left with B minus two. And you could directly factor a different two squares out of the root. And then I've got the B squared breaks down to B plus two. B minus 2. Now, aren't these the same factor? So we can pull that out, B minus 2, that factor. And what's left is the A plus B plus 2. Crazy. I'm going to show you with the PowerPoint. Maybe it's a little bit clearer. Yeah. Well, the first one we're going to factor out of the first part. I'm going to go back through it. I'm, I'm factoring an A out of the first group. The second group, I don't need to factor anything out. There's an AN in both terms. All I'm going to do is break it down to the other terms. B minus 2, B plus 2. And now we have a B minus 2 in both. So we're going to notice this is a, be careful here. This is a term, and this is a term. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to just continue that. Sorry, I had to take that. Um, so now I can factor out that common factor. Notice, in this group and in this group, in this term and in the other term, there's a factor of B minus 2 in common. And so I can pull it out. And then what's left here in the other group is A plus the B plus 2. Okay? So that's the lesson for today. Uh, thank you.